checks it at the top. And falls back down. Back onto the main display axis. Up again onto the vertical. Rapid rolling, reversing and rolling back the other way. Corkscrewing back down. Checking from at the other end of the A axis this time. Again, you can see it has got a very marked roll rate. It is something in excess of 420 degrees a second. Now, on the B axis this time at right angles to the line he's just been using. You can see the aircraft on the underside is a solid colour. Rolls around the top and tail slides. The alternating cover scheme allowing the aircraft to be judged the more readily in competition. And you may notice as Kester brings the Now half loop, half roll, back into the upright, not for long. One and a half flicks, negative entry. Quarter roll on the way down and change to the B axis, up again onto the vertical. Half roll sets him up for perhaps, no, not quite a launcher back. Falls out of that, quarter rolls. As you can see, very precise. injected into the exhaust to produce this white smoke. There's not room aboard for uh, coloured dyes to emulate certain other teams. On the knife edge, there you can see that differing upper scheme. This is the only edge 540 in this country. It's reckoned to have the greatest power to weight ratio of all the World's Unlimited category aerobatic aeroplane. Empty. It weighs only some 520 kilos. And underlining, underlining that point about the power to weight ratio. Last year, the aluminium firewall on the aircraft was replaced by one of titanium to save a few grams. like a tail slide.
comes out inverted. 